They are reconnecting. There we go. <laughs> Joseph is so funny. Joe, come on, come back here now. Okay, we are live already. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah. So come back here now. Come on, come back here now. We're gonna read the gospel. <laughs> We are uh, having a funny episode here at home, so early in the morning. Okay, uh, come on, let's read the gospel already. Today's gospel comes from St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 21 to 28. No, nope. come here now. Okay, let's listen up, listen up. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Okay, I want you to pay attention to every word that we are reading here. The people were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as one of the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet! Come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. So, hey Joe. So, we just finished Christmas, right? We just finished Christmas um, with the uh, baptism of our Lord that we celebrated yesterday that uh, signals the liturgical uh, season of Christmas to be ended. And here we are in ordinary time and we are um, going to uh, the different gospel scenes now on uh, the ordinary life of our Lord. Okay. We have finished uh, the mystery of the incarnation and now we are going through the Gospels that uh, relate to us the stories about how our Lord uh, conducted his ordinary life, which is a life of teaching and a life of preaching, a life of converting sinners, a life of getting rid of uh, devils and illnesses and sicknesses which is what our Lord came to earth for, right? That's why this question of the devil, the possessed man, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? See? It's like asking the question just right after Christmas, well, what did Jesus come on earth for? Right? So he just came, he was born. Now perhaps we can ask the question as a matter of review, well, what did Jesus come on earth for anyway? And the easy answer to that question is, what, Joe? To save souls. To save souls. To save us. Right? To save souls. And to save everybody ever born of woman. Okay? Down to the very last person to be born on earth. Benefits from the saving, from the salvific mission, the saving mission of Jesus Christ. Okay? So that is the reason. Right? And in this very parable... Uh, well, this, this is not a parable. This is, not a, uh, this is an actual event that happened in our Lord's life. Uh, he actually got rid of this devil. And he commanded him to leave that possessed man with authority. Right? He tells him, keep quiet. Okay? Get out of him. He, he says so with conviction and with authority. And that is precisely what the, the, the people of Capernaum noticed, right? That our Lord spoke with authority. It's very clearly said here, right? Uh, uh, he taught them as one having authority and not as like the scribes. 
What's the difference? How come they immediately noticed the difference between our Lord's teaching and that of the scribes? What gave Jesus authority? What gave him credibility to say the things he was saying and to preach the things he was preaching? What was the basis of our Lord's authority? And you know, and you know, this very same question is repeated in the episode where he faced.